Hi, I'm Frederick Abramson, and I'm here to describe in a series of videos some interesting facts about how our genetic makeup, our genes that make up who we are, have an impact on our lives in everyday activities. An example is that our genetic makeup can impact and influence the risk of getting hurt in sports and athletics. So I'll be describing in a series of videos some of the scientific discoveries relating to genes and injury, as well as activities that people can take that can actually lower the risk and alter the outcomes. But first, in this initial video, I want to give you a little description of my own background in a few minutes. So I'm a PhD in human genetics from the University of Michigan, but at the same time, my work in human genetics involved being a pioneer in artificial intelligence and big data. I was doing, in the early 1970s, creating artificial intelligence software to lower the risk of infections in hospitals. Kind of a cool project, since getting an infection in the hospital has often disastrous consequences. Since the mid-1990s, about 1996, I've been an adjunct professor in the Johns Hopkins Biotechnology Program, where I teach the master students things about the business aspects of biotech. This includes economic aspects and enterprise creation. I want to give you a highlight, though, an example of how a, ge a genetic influence could shape the outcomes for people. A few years ago, a friend of mine had a, her son was a soccer player at a Montgomery County High School. And he was really a great player. He was on a path to get a scholarship to a Division I school. That's really important. In his senior year, he suffered a concussion. That concussion basically ended his soccer career. It also meant no Division I scholarships. Ultimately, he went to a small college in Virginia, got a little bit of financial aid, but his whole life was changed by that event of having a concussion. Now, what might be interesting, and might have been interesting to her and her son, is that there is a gene variant that changes the risk of concussion to a person who has it and increases the risk of concussion 300%. That's three times higher. Just imagine if they had known that he had that gene how it might have impacted how he played the game and how he could have potentially lowered the risk. Clearly, there's no way to avoid all risk of injury. But the key is knowledge could have translated into actions that could have lowered his concussion risk and allowed him to even get that Division I scholarship. Well, that's all I really want to talk about in this introduction. In subsequent videos, I'll dive into this concussion risk in more detail, as well as risks to other body issues like the uh, elbow, the shoulder, the wrist, the knee, and the ankle, just to give you a flavor that our genetic makeup really does impact what happens to us in everyday life, and that we have choices in front of us that we can make. Thank you very much, and I look forward to other conversations.